Rocks and blast beats, kind of. Back. Kind of, not sort Ish. of. Ish. Misk. Josh, do you have Misk. something to tell the people? <laughs> you might have noticed. Does our, does uh, our valiant leader need to tell the masses something? A <laughs> glorious leader. Jesus, I am not the leader of this. This is a anarcho-communist. Anarcho-socialist, please. Anarcho-socialism. <laughs> We're in a narco-socialist commune. We take it in turns to act as a sort of executive officer for the week. But all the decisions of that officer... Fuck, I can always... Much, much, like, much, like much like the band Crass. Uh, we're, not a, we're, we're not a band. We're an anarcho-socialist uh, music collective. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. But, uh, <laughs> dear listen, musical you may nerd collective. There was not an episode last week. We did actually get uh, some sweet messages, uh, making sure everything was okay and like to a point. Yes, uh, but we have decided. I think to, my uh... story summed it up with the when our depressive <laughs> episode sync up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, we uh, we're gonna go on a little bit of a hiatus for just a little bit. There's a you know some some mental health stuff that has to be focused on. There's some touring stuff coming up. Uh, and uh, we, we wanted this to be fun and we want it to remain fun. Um, and so we've decided it's probably best we just kind of press the brakes for just a little moment on uh, Balrogs and Blast Beats, focus on ourselves, and then come back when we are in a better space. Yeah, I just found out that the treatment I'm undergoing, because I'm, I'm an open book, we've always established that, I'm undergoing <laughs> eating disorder treatment, and it is the longest and hardest treatment you can do for a psychiatric disorder. And I was like, are you fucking serious? Like, you could have told me that before I started. I just would have chosen not to. Um, but and that's I'm probably touring... why they don't tell you. <laughs> uh, mm. And I'm touring this month and next with captives and later in the year as well. And I spent all day sorting merch. <laughs> oh, you know what? That was my favorite thing about moving to another state is I don't have to do the merch anymore. Look, Handball there was spread that, that, like, I've got Excel involved. I, like, ordered it. I rolled. I'm covered in permanent marker. Uh, so, <laughs> um, I reckon. Yeah, you just got to spend four hours getting the square reader to work every time there's a customer at the show. <laughs> hey, I found the square reader charger. I am this band's <laughs> savior. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've had a square reader sitting in my backpack for six months now from the last time I was running merch. And I'm just like, it's just going to sit there for the, like probably another year until someone needs me to do merch again. I'm like, I have a square reader. Hey, the future, the, future so the money comes instead, to me. <laughs> okay. Square readers take a huge amount of money off you. The future instead is doing a pay ID and just going, yeah, just transfer us 20 bucks to this no. number. They do it right there and then at the desk. You see the confirmation and you go, sick. And you get the ding and then you give them the shirt. That's the future. Cut out fucking square pay. Stop charging me so much. <laughs> there you go. You heard it here on Bell Rocks and Blast. <laughs> So yeah, I'm actually, I'm, I'm going to use this hiatus. The lazy people who uh, don't want to type up all the numbers yeah. when they're four obvious days. QR code. Um, but oh, I will be using this hiatus then to take down square pay, um, apparently. <laughs> 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 fight the system uh, fight the system but uh well, always but uh how are you guys going to fight the system or nerd out while we take a little break what's 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 the plan Stan? what well, grand what are you gonna do <sighs> oh that's a good question um i'll either turn into a human turtle and recede so far into my shell and do nothing for the next six months or mm. who knows maybe i'll start some more podcasts maybe you don't want to listen to me anyway who knows we'll see i don't even care i'll do what i want to do Tell you what, speaking of more podcasts, I've been hyper fixating on Dungeons and Dragons, um, and it's all I care about right now. I Good. think maybe Grant and I could explore a, a little D and D adventure. I think that might Do be it. nice if uh, Northside nerds, if you're a DM, uh, <laughs> holler at us, uh, and you want to do like a little podcast around with us. We could do a little campaign. Let that me know. Be that would be super that. fun. I will play a red barbarian. <laughs> Maybe barbarian. I'm not sure. Red-haired barbarian with a beard who wields <laughs> discs, uh, and that's his fighting <laughs> style. Yes, I'm going to play Josh. <laughs> I would 100% always be a barbarian. That's fine. Wields that's discs. <laughs> I'm thinking of like the the Predator Two. Like, yeah, have you ever yeah. seen like the second Predator movie? Like the the throwing disc he has that's not yeah. a throwing disc. It just yeah. floats and just somehow cuts people. 
like a vibe or, you're, or, a or, you're, or you're or you're a paladin or a cleric but like your sacred thing is just good music so you just like beat up shit bards <laughs> no you're too positive for that what am i talking about this I is Margie say, I, now <laughs> i could be i could be a bard that just doesn't play an instrument like like a, a mu- like a talentless bard like, like I can the bard in the D D movie <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he doesn't play so a fucking good. instrument it so good. Maybe might as well just be like a like a, like a record label executive bard like you just sit a suit instead like but you yeah. can't play the instruments but you tell all the other bards how to play that's exactly it. I'd just be, I'd be a bard. That's, ra- that's actually, that's, that's basically the description of my life is just bard wrangler. Cause that's all I do with all of my <laughs> fucking bands is have to wrangle the shit out of them. So <laughs> uh, <laughs> now nah, Maggie, my wrangler. challenge in, in this downtime, I, um, just recently I finished the first book in the game of Thrones series and the first book. In Sorry, I believe it's Twin- a song of ice and fire. <laughs> There you go. That's fine. That's fine. We'll go there. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, but uh, yeah, I just, I, just, well, I just finished Game of Thrones, the first book, and Very I nice. just finished uh, June as well. And so I'm going to smash through <gasps> oh. all of them. But we're like to, to side tangent as well. Reading June again has made me realize a massive error in the new film. And it made me mm. upset that I, I really enjoyed the film until I reread the books and realized that when Duncan Idaho – uh, steals the fucking ornithopter when the Harkonnen are coming down mm. and then he like flies away. It very specifically shows that that ornithopter is shielded and then one of the Harkonnen like big ships fires like a las weapon at the shielded ornithopter. But you read in the book, they make it very, very clear that you can't shoot las weapons at shielded things because then both the shield and the fucking gun blow up. And so, Hey! Yeah, they make a very strong point about that in the book multiple times, and it's just very yeah. obvious in the film. And it's they, like, oh. and that's what, are you, maybe it was a special one for shielded vehicles. Like maybe it <laughs> shot and then it paused and then it went. I don't know. It, it, it never hits Duncan Idaho. Like it's kind of he flies away. But I was like, the person who was firing the las gun must have known that this was going to blow mm. up the entire ship. But I mean, it's bold. It's a. Uh, hmm. There you go. We found the error. Take that, <laughs> Timothy but Chalamet. I, I think I've figured it out. The reason why Josh is now so busy is because, not because of his bands, but because he's reading Game of Thrones, Dune, and I can't remember the third book series Miss, Miss, concurrently. Miss the other one. Mistborn is the other one. That I've, just, I've just finished the first book in all three series, actually. I literally yeah. just finished Mistborn last night. So uh, uh, yeah. I've got the Forgotten Realm Dark Elf trilogy, um, yes. and I'm starting with that instead of starting <laughs> with the other books that you're supposed to read before it because my friend's doing an experiment on me. But I've been so busy, I haven't had a chance to read them because I've – decided to teach myself how to use Adobe Illustrator because ah. I need to turn all of my drawings into album artwork <laughs> by May 8th. Uh, and I'm away for the next two weeks. So, <laughs> so you got to do it tomorrow. <laughs> so look for some fucking stick figures on an album that says cap types? <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> Wait, seriously, Josh, so how do you do that? Do you read one book? all the way through or do you chop and change through them like do you cycle I, or... I usually focus on one pretty heavily yeah. um but if i just like i f- like find myself going through movies like i went through like halfway through mistborn was really enjoying it and then just mm. stopped and then i picked up game of thrones and i smashed all through that and then i was like i smashed through june as well but i was sort of like concurrently reading um yeah so i finished june a couple of days ago and i finished mistborn last night but yeah i i can like I can definitely read because I've also got like books in the Warhammer series that I'm like kind of halfway yeah. through as well. But I, I mean, the, like, you, I, you're never going to finish that. It's an infinite saga. No, but <laughs> yeah, I, I, can I, I can chop and change. I don't have to focus on one book. One at a time. time. Yeah, cool. Yeah. 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 That's, <laughs> I, I think if I'm really enjoying a book, it's the only thing I want to read. Like, mm. it's just like, got to get in there. The only book that I, can't, I haven't been able to do that with is The Silmarillion. I have had to take breaks from that because I've been like, <laughs> Like Feanor, hey, well, what is you? And like everything just starts looking elvish to me, and I'm like, oh, I've got to. My brain's adopting that too much. <laughs> yeah, you get, you get points for trying with a similar end. <laughs> <laughs> it's each one's like a new campaign. You just see how far you can get, and eventually you get there, and it's really worth it. Hundred <laughs> percent. Or you read all 100%. the plot summaries online to help you through. It. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I've never done no. that in my life. <laughs> That's we call that speed reading. 
<laughs> that's how people are like reading that's, read. I was gonna say that's, that's how, how I read. read. Isn't it? That is yeah. that's how yeah. I read. That's how I watch scary <laughs> movies as well. I just read the plot synopsis online. Like, why would I watch it when I could just read it? And I still get scared. Fair, fair. So, so, right, my, brand- my partner listens to podcasts about like all of the horror movies she wants to watch, and then she's like, "Oh, this one's apparently really good. We need to see it." And she just starts telling me about the scenes as it's going on. Like, you already know exactly what happens while you're watching this movie. <laughs> like you, you the, the, there. Okay, you don't enjoy new experiences. You just wanna, you just wanna vibe. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Like, Grant, I did go and see John Wick four the other day as oh, well. That's so good. <gasps> it was very, very enjoyable. That's right. Yeah, because we, I, oh, I messaged the, the group chat afterwards, uh, and that was a really good time. I are you Are that. you ready for something to come full circle? Um, in our last Balrogs of Blood Bath Meets episode, we were talking about the John Wick cinematic universe. And mm. do you know what other podcast spoke about the John Wick cinematic episode, uh, universe in their most recent episode? Is it Dungeons and Daddies? It fucking was Dungeons and Daddies. <laughs> Worlds collided. There were spheres exploding. <laughs> it's like Pyramids our Japanese tour. On it's, it's, it's our Japanese tour manager bringing up a photo of Josh in a chat and going to like my bandmate. Do you know this guy? And they're like, no, but Margie does. <laughs> like she does a <laughs> podcast with him. And then, and then our Japanese booker was like, interesting <laughs> like small <laughs> world <laughs> like fucking oh geez you can't escape um, us no i'm i'm pretty hard to miss <laughs> yeah i gotta grow a beard or something do it maybe i'll get a mohawk as much <laughs> as you try to not be seen josh it's it's a bit it's a bit of a dichotomy there i've yeah yeah for someone who doesn't like the spotlight and doesn't <laughs> like being seen i've picked the wrong uh, human <laughs> form really it's- yeah, it's it's an interesting choice, but we'll see how it pans out. Good work. But one day I am just going to shave everything off. I'm going to have a 2007 Britney moment, shave everything off, and then just go and like put on a normal like shirt and jeans and then just stand near people I know and just see what happens. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> I'll just kind of walk near them, maybe make some eye contact, like a nod and a smile and keep walking. And just I will not recognize you 100%. I'll just fuck with people's heads. I've been clean shaven once since I was 18, so... Same. There are there is very few people who remember that time. There's an oh expo- a social experiment to be had here. Exactly. Like That'll I, I really can't different. do facial recognition though. Like even with people I know, like mm. if I'm not with it that day, like it could be someone I know standing right there next to me at the train station. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, that person's standing a bit close. Like especially if I'm not wearing my glasses, cuts and shit. <laughs> So if I ever ignore you, it's probably because I don't see you <laughs> and I can drive a car legally. Uh, that's good. Dangerous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, think about that things. really hard, Josh. Think about that <laughs> one really hard next time you're on your motorcycle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Josh is going to go be a bad everyone. boy for a while. <laughs> yeah. Got to go and be a rebel. Absolutely. Um, which is funny because the bike that I got is literally the, it's called a rebel. It's called a rebel. Yeah. yeah it's who, right. who would win in a it's fight? A the road or Josh? <laughs> Sorry. I'd give the, I'd give the road a really good, like rumbling, I feel, but the road would absolutely win. How much prep time does Josh get before he gets, before he fights? <laughs> yeah, he does exactly. get Kevlar. Much... So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. he gets a I plus 10 to a <laughs> I would bludgeoning damage. Gear. My bike is pretty heavy. So like if it fell on the ground, I think I'd give it a good nick. What, yeah, what constitutes as a win? Does he have to dab- <laughs> He has to explode the road, yeah. <laughs> explode the road. It's got to destroy I like a, the road. I like a challenge. I'll uh, I'll get back to you with my findings after I sort of process this information. So it's going to be like playing Burnout, that video game where it's just basically about <laughs> crashing a car and causing as much carnage as possible. I mean, it's probably closer to... Did you ever play Carmageddon? No, I didn't, but that sounds exactly (laughs) what I would imagine. Please tell me that that's like a spinoff of Where in the World is Carmen San Diego, except it's Carmen Geddon. It was a game in like the early, uh, it would be early 90s, it would be like 92 or something like that, but pretty much you just played, (laughs) that you you were in this car and you were like, you had to race, but you had two options. You could either win the race or just smash every other car. And there was like different cars that had different things. Like one was like an electro dude. The only car I remember, there was a guy called Agent Orange, who was like a, like a fucking secret agent sort of thing um in like a black secret asian car but like yeah you'd literally just like smash the shit out of all the other cars like knock them off the road and whatnot and it was literally the aim of the game was you could either win the race or be the only car left functioning it's like destruction dirty, capitalism like, was, and there was also like people that you could run over and shit like it was sort of like yeah it's like destruction derby meets grand theft auto that's cool and it was 
I'd it was that. a very fun game. I'd play that. That's fun. That's <laughs> why I play Mario Kart, but that's mostly because I can't steer very well, so I just drive into stuff. Fair. So that's what Fair. that's the mashup that we need. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Violent Mario Kart. <laughs> it, it'd be somewhere, I reckon, if you look hard enough on the internet, someone's modded Mario Kart to be basically road rash. I mean, God, Grant, I love people challenge. who are that smart. If, Grant, if you want to do something for the next six months, you could research, you know, coding and then write us a game that's like a violent Mario Kart. No, Have no, you, I'm just playing, play I'm playing a D&D character that's Grant. Sorry. I'm busy. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I never played Road Rash. No, I played a bit of Need for Speed, but didn't really get into car games that much. I nah, did well, play Road Crash Rash Bandicoot. is basically just a game where you like ride like flats, like flat screen. Like, so there's like four lanes on motorcycles. You just beat the person next to you with a chain. So oh, that's that, could be, in, that's that could be in your future. Just swinging <laughs> chains. Yeah, you'll see us um, for the Isle of Man TT. We're going over as a crew. I'm the mechanic. Grant's on hype music and josh is riding it uh it will go very well <laughs> give, me, give, give me a couple of years before we get to that point oh i mean no, those, go raw. those are definitely the perfect roles for all of us like <laughs> yeah. me, the, the engineer doing the music <laughs> you doing the engineering <laughs> yeah bike mechanics <laughs> spanner i'm trying to put the power pack onto my pedal board at the moment and i've been trying to put it on with a handheld screwdriver <laughs> do you need a power drill because you got to drill a hole in the bracket uh, first yeah. to put it <laughs> i'm doing well i'm just doing great bless, <laughs> bless. Uh, struggle street is real uh, <laughs> yeah, I, but... I might come back and be a crazy <laughs> <laughs> But to round out that message, like I said, we we will be back with some proper barrels of bar speeds at some point in time when brains are better and life is easy. Um, lol, that mm. second part will never happen. But when well, brains are better, uh, I mean, when brains are better and time is more mm. available, or we get slightly more turns, abundant. Or... <laughs> yeah. and, uh, but in the meantime, but, we'll yeah. probably turn the uh, Northside Nerds Instagram into a meme account because that'll be fun. So if there yeah. is uh, if there is updates on what's going on, what we're happening, you'll find it on the Instagram and maybe on the TikTok if yeah I can make TikToks. I can't. Let's face it. You're but. pretty. You're better at it than I am. I downloaded <laughs> TikTok and that's as far as I got. But while we're gone, send us episode ideas. Send us mm. uh, nerd memes. shit. Send us memes. We love memes. Uh, send us questions. Everything like that. We. If you are a. If you want to help out with a D and D campaign, fuck it. Do it. Mm. If you have another idea, mm. hit us up. Uh, slide into these. DMs. Or if you have podcast slide into ideas, these send us podcast ideas. Maybe you can join the and join then, the family. That's or maybe we'll hiatus. steal them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and just make sure you don't send them with a tm next to it yeah yeah as long as there's no trademark if you include that little r in a circle then we can't use it so no, don't don't no, do that don't bother. i don't want, i don't <laughs> want to talk to you anyway loser <laughs> protective problem loser. Nah. <laughs> loser. <laughs> Oh, that's now we love you dearly. If you've been listening to this, you're not a loser. I mean, you might be, but like in a good way, like a cool loser. Like we're all losers, but like like we're self actualized losers. Mm, Hundred, we know what we're about, and we love every single one of you, dear listeners. Um, and yeah, we will miss you, but keep in touch. We'll be back soon. Maybe Maybe. dab, (laughs) dab, (laughs) dab, dab exit, dab exit. I'm making my debut exit.